This is Post Apocalyptic's first live session for Sled Island. Uh, Knitting, take it away. Legs are short, but the road is long. A tired fish back in its tiny pond. we're knitting we just have to tune our guitar really quickly our three guitars um, and then we're gonna play a song about carrots if you like small carrots this song is for you I bought a bag of baby carrots and it reminded me of all the
Thank you so much. I thank you so much for coming onto the show. Uh, I am in like I'm so curious. Uh, where did baby carrots come from? Like, what was the idea True. behind it? Um, well, I had a friend, uh, my friend Sarah, who um, was telling me that someone was making fun of them, or they had a partner who was like telling them they were not cool for eating baby carrots or something like that. They were, like, shaming them for eating carrots. And I was like, damn. So that's uh, where it came from. I will say I am an avid eater of baby carrots and for shame on that I person. Know, a good snack. Um, and another question I have, how long have you been vibing with the music? I Like, bedroom pop, indie rock sort of vibe, how long have you been doing it for? Um, how long have I been playing music or how long has knitting been playing together? Both. Oh. All the questions. Um, I've been playing in bands since I was like 12 or so. Oh, early starter. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> um, but knitting's just been a band for like the past year. Oh yeah, yeah. Because if I remember correctly through my internet sleuthing, uh, you guys, like you started this as like a project during COVID and the hibernation period. Yeah. Which is lovely. I feel like everyone should be doing that, like just going into these passionate projects and trying to do the, like the most they can do in that time, which is super fun. Um, like when you're touring, is this like, I guess you're doing the sled, whole Sled Island sort of vibe. Um, how is like, how do you handle it as like a small, an up and coming band? Oh, we're having a great time. Oh, you're just vibing. We're just vibing. Oh, yeah. my God. It's like making new friends and seeing old friends. Uh, we've all played in other projects before, so we're kind of seeing people we know and seeing uh, people we don't know and seeing lots of good bands. We're just we're just here to have a good time and play music. I'm f vibing. With, I love that answer. Um, other thing, I'm post-apocalyptic, listening to my show. We always, 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 the whole sort of vibe is to talk about artist influences. And I just wondered, who are your influences as a musician in any regard? It can be anything and everything. True. Um, well, stuff I was listening to when I was like thinking about the knitting songs were uh, I listened to Pale Hound a lot, um, Alex G, um, Elliot Smith, Avlov, Stove, um, some other stuff that I can't super think of, but uh, that's a it's a solid base list, I think. No, one hundred twelve percent. That's more than enough. I just think it's always fun to hear about people's influences. Anyway, I will let you get back to your sick music. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming onto the show. Thank you so much for having us. Anyway, have fun. Thanks. This year was a throwaway year. Here you're learning how to swim, and I'm still driving over.
Thank you so much to Knitting for coming on the show. Any last minute statements, comments, queries, concerns? Just wanted to say thanks for having us and come see us at the ship tonight. Ship and Anchor. Yeah, they will be at the Ship and Anchor around 1030-ish, if I'm correct, in that time frame. Um, Yeah, it's kind of wild. Uh, There's so many great shows Thank you so much for coming on to Post Apocalyptic. It's truly been a vibe, amazing band. Um, we love seeing just great Canadian artists keep doing great things. So keep on vibing, keep on rocking, and 